Hello, and welcome back to Now Read This with Shazam Tea Time Watkins, where I review and read books to you. So, we've got something super special planned. Um, instead of reviewing something that I really enjoy, which I usually always do, because I rarely read books that I super, you know, don't, don't enjoy very much, today we have one of the first reviews where I'm actually reviewing something I really did, I was not impressed by at all. So, this is a super famous, popular series that's been recommended to me multiple times by people that I trust, usually trust their recommendations, and I was just completely eh about the entire thing. So without further ado, Wizard's First Rule by Terry Goodkind, which is the first book in A Sword of Truth, which is a epic fantasy series. I think that there's probably somewhere almost around 20 books now from this author. So before we get into it, let me just say this is the first book, this is the first time I've read anything from this writer, and he's got a huge amount of work, and it's been popular, so I'm going to continue reading the series, but let me just start. So number one, Wizard's First Rule. This, it was so effing predictable. I think that was the, the that was the biggest thing for me. Maybe I'm just spoiled by how much good fiction fantasy, epic fantasy, high fantasy that I read. I really enjoy all sorts of things in in multiple genres and I'm pretty much a sucker for anything with swords and dragons and magic and even romance and things like that. So I just when I, when I started reading this, it was so hard for me to get through because it was just everything was cheesy, predictable, um, overwhelmingly, you could just, I, I didn't, I wouldn't even have to have read it. I could have just guessed and told you what was going to happen. Most of my, most of my opinions and what, on what was going to occur were exactly what happened. The things that happened were exactly what I thought was going to happen. Um, and that is not, that is not good. So let me just start. You have a kingdom that is divided into three se separate places. You have um, a magical barrier set up between these areas. Um, in the land, there are three different, virtually three different kingdoms, and they've been divided along which ones can use magic and which ones don't want magic in their realm. And you start uh, with the character, a character named Richard weird character name. Don't know, I don't know why, but Richard, maybe I just, I've watched that South Park episode where she's running away from, from the guy named Richard, and, um, anyway, you probably don't understand what I'm talking about, but let me just say, it was, it was so, it was, it was boring. It was boring, and it was annoying, and there was all these weird pseudo kind of sexual dominatrix sections that were happening, which I wasn't into at all. Uh, it was the first time I've ever read a scene where someone literally is uh, castrated and fed their own testes. Um, which I'm not, a, you know, it, it's not that I <laughs> don't want to read that. It sounds like something maybe George R. R. Martin would write, but it was just... It wasn't, it was done in a way that was, it's like his writing is just so blunt and just obvious. It, it, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing really frilly or interesting about his writing to me. Just very basic. I don't know how this series caught on so quickly after it was released. I, and I'm not, this isn't an insult to the author. He's obviously been very successful, but it honestly makes me wonder why. Um, I just couldn't get it. the characters felt super contrived and just basic they it was everything was basic it was like basic bitch writing just basic bitch reading just, these characters had no depth um everything was established way too soon way too early way too quickly it was like just go straight in no no foreplay at all and and you know it, it kind of felt like well, I don't, I don't even know how I really should compare it. It felt just very bad the whole time I was reading it. I was just not impressed at all. Really glad I only bought the paperback. I'm not going to collect these as, as collector's editions as I've done with other books. I just, you know, but here's the other thing. It started to get good probably around the last hundred pages or so. And this book is almost 900 pages something about 900 pages of, of this book in paperback form, really just 
kind of slogging through the same old things that felt so just copy paste basic fantasy stuff and you know i would have even liked to be annoyed more by certain things felt like there was really no conflict that the characters couldn't go through which meant there was no payoff once they actually went through anything that was supposedly supposed to be a conflict um man and it just it was just kind of a miserable experience reading this book i gotta say you know um, congratu congratulations to Terry Goodkind for, for, you know, succeeding in, in, in writing, but man, it just kind of hurt my heart going through this, just being like, if people bought this and really enjoyed it and really think this is the, the peak of high fantasy, it just kind of shows you who you're surrounded by on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's just not not anything I was super stoked about. And, you know, I told the people that recommended it to me, like, this is just terrible. How do you guys like this? And it almost offended, kind of felt like it maybe hurt their feelings a little bit. But, man, just come on. I, I It's really hard for me, honestly. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to be a, a Debbie Downer, um, a Sam Sorrow. Um, but, you know, this is just god-awful, like comparable to it, it was it was it was bad it was really hard for me to get through so i would not recommend this book for anybody that wants anything new out of fantasy if you're looking for something basic and you you have a really minimal vocabulary and you just want to write you you want to read a huge long book with virtually nothing interesting going on you know totally read this wizard's first rule terry goodkind if you want to be you know interested if you want to be challenged in your thought process, if you want to be surprised, definitely don't read it. I will be reading the rest of the series, so hopefully it gets better. As I've said before, there's author authors like Terry Brooks who, you know, will write an incredible book, and then the next one you'll be like, eh, not very good. But, you know, I think you can forgive. You can forgive, and you got to move on. You can't treat everybody's work the same. It's kind of like putting out music. You put out something, you never want to hear it again. You wish you'd never put it out, and then you move on, and then it's just how it is. So, um, again, no insult to anybody that enjoys the book, uh, but, man, come on. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed a roundly negative review for something. One star on that one. Couldn't. Couldn't get through it fast enough, but really couldn't help but not get through it fast enough because it was just misery. Uh, I do these book reviews every Friday. Usually they're a little bit more positive than this, and I do audiobooks. I read three chapters of a specific book to you every Monday at 5 a.m. These should be usually always be uploaded. And we here in Tacoma, Washington, in the Pacific Northwest, have... Some snow on the ground again. The winter can't seem to just piss off. Finally, I really wanted to stop snowing and, you know, those those sorts of things. And, um, yeah, so enjoy. Jo join me on Now Read This every Friday and every Monday. And you can uh, follow along as I read The Restaurant at the End of the Universe and do all the voices for that book. Doing my own audiobook version of that. Not making anything from it, obviously. Copyright. Uh, issues withstanding. Hopefully nobody reports me. But either way, yeah, join me for book reviews on Fridays and audiobooks on Mondays. And then um, another note, The Fame Riot is about to release the, our first single in a few years since Red Tape kind of got in the way and we've cut through that. And so now we're about to get out our first music video, first single that we've been able to release in some time. We just had a release show for it and the video and the single went over very splendidly. Everybody seemed to have a great time and we'll be putting out more stuff this year regularly. So stay tuned for that. You can go to the fameriot.com. You can get on our email list and you can sign up and we will be sending out, you know, discount codes for our Freak Chic merch, which is, which is hand-designed, hand-picked um, by yours truly, Shazam Watkins and Lizard Scarlet. You will be able to see the video very soon, but if you want the single first, you can go to thefameriot.com and sign up on the email list and we will send you a download link immediately. And once again, thank you for joining me on the channel. Please like and subscribe, comment. Send me an email at readwithshazam if you want your book or music reviewed. And have a wonderful day. Much love. Thank you so much for joining me. Farewell.